have some praise tonight. Give God some praise. Come on, church. Come on, church. Give God the praise. Come on, wake up, wake up. Give God the praise. Give God the praise. God the praise. Amen. Hallelujah. Lift those hands and wave it in the most high. Wave it. Wave it. Wave it. Wave it. Wave it. Wave it. Our oh, God is not dead, but He's alive. Send my God. Amen. Send my God. He's not dead, but He is alive. He is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. Amen. Somebody. How many believe that tonight? And God does that to the Lord. God does that. God does that. We join the choice. We join the choice. We join. Amen. Somebody. We know that the rain falls in the east. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Amen. But the rain doesn't stop the fire of the Holy Ghost. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Amen. There are many people in this uh, court where they're looking for the bottle of punching. They're looking for the whiskey. Come on, somebody. And what we need to look for in the dry season, the rainy season, the mix of the pandemic, we need to look for the Holy Ghost and fire. Come somebody. Let that Holy Ghost and fire come upon you. Amen, somebody. It tells you to go on. Jeremiah said his word, the word of God, when it comes to you, come on, somebody. It doesn't come in your ears. It doesn't come in your heart. It doesn't come. Amen, somebody. In your surroundings. He said in the word of God, came up to me. It came where? He said it came in my heart. It comes in my heart. Where does it come? In my heart. In my heart. You know, in the name of somebody. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. When the heart is interested in something, when the heart is passionate about something, when the heart has been inspired by something, it grows after it. Come on, somebody. And when we speak about the heart, we're not speaking about, amen, what is pumping the blood through our veins right now. We are speaking about, amen, somebody, amen, the soul of man, amen, somebody, the emotional state of a man, come on, somebody, that affects our mental state, that affects our choices, that our affects, amen, somebody, our behavior, day to day, because of our attitude, see, my my attitude deters. Amen, somebody. Say, my attitude will determine my altitude. Come on, somebody. Come on. Amen. Say, say my attitude. Anything I do will determine how far I'm going to reach. It's going to determine the level I'm going to go. It's going to determine the sacrifice I'm going to make. It's going to determine the faith I'm going to have. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. It's going to determine the joy I'm going to have. Come on, somebody. It's going to determine the fellowship I'm going to have. It's going to determine the workmanship I'm going to have. It's going to determine my reaction. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. It's going to determine my action before the mighty red sea. My reaction before my enemies. My reaction before my mountains. My reaction in the life. Lucifer. Once called, amen, somebody, the son 
Amen, somebody. Of the bright and morning star. Jesus is the bright and morning star. But he was the son of the bright and morning star. He took what he saw to create his own kingdom. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. And he knows, amen, somebody, what affects the flesh and the spirit of man. Come on, somebody. And that's why he knows how to draw you into the past, how to draw you into the alcohol, how to draw your emotion and entice you. Amen. Before a woman, before a man, come on somebody. How to entice you before vanity, before things. Amen, somebody. So when you gather into parties, into weddings, come on somebody. Amen, somebody. And we are amongst unsafe people. And it's the type of joy they have. When they are worshiping the devil, that's what they are doing. Come on somebody. When they begin to revel. Come on somebody. But the Bible said, no revel shall enter the kingdom. No drunkard shall enter the kingdom. But what is behind them is a spirit. And water. Amen. That spirit has given them energy. Come on somebody. They can have back pain, throat pain, neck pain. They can have how much husband problem, wife problem, financial problem. But when they get in an atmosphere, all that problem leaves them. And they start to whine low. They start to smile. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Come on. You know how excited. Come on, somebody. The people of the world is right now to go back in the bath. Come on, somebody. Right now, they're having the breaking the law and they're selling food and having food in the bar right now. Come on, somebody. And they charge two bars for three thousand dollars. Come on, somebody. You know how excited them is? Them people have, amen, they can't wait for the bar to open back. They can't wait for the casino to open back. They can't wait. Come on, somebody. You think that they can't get the alcohol in the whole trip? Right. But you know why they want it in the bar? Because they want that energy. Right. Come on, that energy that they're getting in the bar, you know, getting in, in the whole street. Right. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Come on. You know why Carnival is so famous and the energy people are getting out there and they're going three nights straight, come on somebody, and satanic diabolical energy as they are as they bow down and they worship the devil with their mask and their nakedness. Come on somebody, come on somebody, and the lust of the flesh all around them and they, and they keep going and going and they have them going. Some of them in sleep at all. Come on somebody. They have energy to wine, to talk, to laugh. Some of them are traveling, they're walking. Come on, somebody. They can be living talk or they're walking the brandy. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Come on, they can be living violence and they're walking to Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Amen, somebody. What am I showing to you? Come on, somebody. That the joy of the Lord is our strength. When we love God, God is a spirit. And then we worship God. Must worship Him in spirit. Every man on the block, men who not even on the block, 
they hear about it, they come in. Anybody ever see that happen? You ever see that in the area? But you know, come on somebody. Come on. I'm showing you the, the energy of the world. And we as the people of God, we still wonder why God and bless me. Why I lost the job? Why I suffering? Why? Because the power of God not moving you. Look how the power of the world moves the people of the world. They move them to come together to accomplish a goal. And they accomplish the goal. They ain't never what giving them the energy. They bust the punch it. Kiss of the ears. Come on, they peel out there. They might be some of them working all day and even touch that pillow. I said they even touch that. Amen. All they're looking for is where the punching is and where the local is. Where the weed is and the punching is. That's all they're going for. And they turn on that concrete. They turn the machine on that floor. Come on, somebody. Amen. I have seen it happen over and over and over again. Ain't that somebody go and so and, and so Satan mimic the things of God. Because the Bible tells us that in the presence of God. Amen. What? In the presence of God. There is what? Fullness. 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 And you were coming out. House of God and have no joy. Return. You know why? Because they come on somebody. People come in the house of God, some of our religious regards. Return. Amen. Out of religious responsibility. Amen. Some come because they feel safe. Return. Because some come because they're afraid somebody will have witchcraft. Amen. Some come maybe because they're afraid that they lost that blessing God gave them some a few months ago. Amen. Some come maybe because they're afraid, amen somebody. They, they, they want to lose their marriage and they won't want to bless it. Come on somebody. Richard. But all those reasons are wrong. Amen. Come on somebody. Am I speaking to somebody? Amen. Some might come to watch my or husband and wife. Make sure they don't kill nobody else. Go down man. Preach on. Come on, somebody. Amen. So I'm going to come to look for one. Preach on. Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on. Some come for fame. Some come to be seen, to be heard. To be recognized. Amen. To be known. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on. Am I speaking to somebody? Yeah. But the scripture said in the, in the presence of God. So I want you to understand that God, amen, somebody, is a spirit. Amen. So God that is not living in this shed. Not living in the seat that they still walk. Not living in the system we have put on. They are needed for our physical bodies. But God is his spirit. Amen. And it is our spirit, your spirit, and my spirit, God, that get in the presence of God. And if you can get here, you can experience, you see, it is an experience. Fullness of joy is an experience that comes by the Holy Ghost. Amen. Awesome, man. Yeah. Come on, when you pour some slow, you can experience. Come on, somebody. Yeah, come on, the flesh is easy to feel the experience. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Go to the hard times and sad times. Come on, somebody. Come on, find some of the people that they keep the feeling, the mood of the music. Come on. I said I love you, but I lie. That's the flesh. Like, like that's worshiping man, creation, woman. You're worshiping something that is before God. But it is moving upon your flesh and you are getting an experience. And your soul is feeling off of it. Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on, somebody. Come on. Amen, somebody. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. See, listen to that and it's feeling that flesh. Come on, somebody. Come on! Hallelujah! Come on! And then I then put it down so that it's so hard to drop me. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. They like to play them Sunday morning, Saturday mornings. Come on! See that flesh. 
seem to move, keep it in move, you get an experience. Come on. Come on. But what experience? I want you to understand the tools that God has given to you. The thing of the spirit of heaviness. The thing of shackles and, and break yokes and chain and to feed your spirit and to sustain your spirit and to give your spirit strength. The Bible said, no, you will not that our bodies are the temples of the Holy Ghost. So you think the Holy Ghost to feed and to keep and to cleanse and to purify and to heal the temple. Come on. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Come on. And you will see how music affects the body. Different types of music cause your body to shake different types of ways. Come on, somebody. Come on. Amen. Amen. Praise God. The one that was close to wine. You can go on the wine and music, dance on music. Amen, somebody. Music can make you wine. Come on, somebody. You can go on the soccer to make you jump up and down. Jump, jump, break the flag. Come on, somebody. Break your rack. Come on! Amen. It affects you differently. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on! Amen. Hallelujah! Glory to Jesus! Amen. And some of you think you might need something to, to remember and stay here. Some broken heart. And you may have yourself like a piece of the TSDI. You can have a piece of the TSDI. Come on, somebody. Amen. Remind them about somebody. Remind them about a moment in their life. Somebody say experience. But that those experiences they come from God. They are affecting the flesh. What are they affecting? The flesh. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Come on. But the scripture said, No greater is he that is in you and he that is in the world. So you want the power of God to affect you, then you got to get in the spirit. And you got to feed the spirit. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Am I speaking to somebody tonight? Amen. Come on. And as you begin to tap in to the things of God, you will begin to know the things that are freely given to you of God. You want to feed the peace of God. The peace of God is an experience. Amen. It is what? An experience. Jesus yes, said, I will give you a peace that surpasses understanding. What a piece said what? What does that mean? Come on, somebody. Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen. Peace that surpasses understanding. Come on, somebody. You have every reason to be vexed, to be crying, to be fighting, to be frustrated. Come on. And to give up. But in the midst of all of that calamity and storm, you gain an experience of peace in your life. Come on, somebody. Amen, somebody. That comes from the presence of God. It comes from the eternal God here. Amen, somebody. It comes from the power of God. It comes from the supernatural that tells you, no matter what you see out there, I am with you. Greater is he that is in you and he that is in the world. No matter what you face out there, I am with you. Come on, somebody. You got to understand something. The Bible says, faith is the substance of things that hope for and the evidence of things that cannot be seen. So whatever you are believing God for, amen, there is no physical evidence. Amen, if you see it. Say, so if there is no physical evidence of you seeing it, and you in the flesh, come on somebody, and, and it takes the spirit of faith to give you hope. And even though you ain't seen that God going to do it, come on somebody, what are you holding on to? Come on somebody. Am I speaking to somebody? Come on. Come on. I want you to understand something. Because you've got to, amen, there is no physical evidence of faith. Anybody can show me your, your faith yet? Come on, somebody. Come on. Many people I know, in times past, they will have to say, this is my faith. Come on, somebody. 
No, your, your feet. Come on, somebody. It's when you were so much to give up and you didn't give up. When you were tempted to lie, you didn't lie. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. When somebody has a husband and a, a wife that he was attracted to, come around you and you was able to tell them, No, I'm a child of God. Come on, somebody. You're able to have the spiritual discipline to say, No. no. To contain that flesh. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Am I speaking to somebody? Am I speaking to somebody tonight? Come on. Come on. Come on. Hallelujah. Glory. When the bad company come around, around you and they're murmuring and whispering to you and the only gospel you're able to tell them is say, I'm not in that. Three times. I mean, you understand what I'm saying? What James said, show me all. Say, and I will show you mine. Because I, I, you, you can be praying and don't have faith. You can fast and don't have faith. But you can, but you can fast and what you fast for because you see come to the past next week and give up. You can pray for something and what you, what you pray for. Come on somebody. Come on somebody. What you pray for, you didn't see happen when you wanted to happen. And you give up. A, a man doesn't backslide in one day. A woman doesn't backslide in one day. You've been backslide over a period of time. Our faith gets weaker, our joy gets weaker. The standard of living a Christian life begins to drop daily without you recognizing it. Come on, somebody. But they are a spiritual deceiver. Who oh, they are the what? And uh, they didn't tell my side, I tell you, they use it as right, but you judge me. Any Bible says judge not? Amen. But there's so many old scriptures, the Bible says judge not unless you be judged. By what measure you judge, it shall be measured back on you. So I have to make sure that I am living what I'm speaking to you about. Because it is being measured back to me. Amen. That, that's not the whole doctrine of judgment. Come on, somebody. The Bible says, Know you not that the saints will judge the world? And can he that the Spirit has done in all things, yet he is judged of no man? He that is what? Spirit. It means he has been enlightened by God, visited by God, anointed by God, called by God to accomplish a task by God. Come on, somebody. Come on. Come on! Hallelujah! Come on! Say there are preachers and preachers. There's a big difference. Anybody can come up the Bible and say, God so love the world, give us all the brothers and God and God is I feel this word touch me tonight. God so loved the world, he gave his own brothers. Nothing wrong with that, that will touch you. Come on! Are you understand? Are you understand what I'm saying? Come on, you can open your Bible and you can have an inspiration from God that touched you. Amen. But because it touched you, doesn't mean it's going to touch others. Then the difference is, because and blessed is he whom the Lord has anointed to preach. Come on. Amen. 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 When you are anointed to preach and you minister, because something that has happened to that human soul. Is that the love you for it or the hate you for it? Amen. Conviction will come, repentance will come. Amen. Amen. Miracles will happen because you are preaching the word of faith. Jesus and the words I speak to you, they are spirit and life. God can talk to you, but then because he talked to you about something and what he tells you to do, doesn't mean he tells you to tell somebody else to do it. When he tells you, Somebody else, uh, if he tells you something and he is telling, amen, somebody about somebody, it means you're operating in an office. How many of us are saying? So we are living in a time of people doing a little difference. Come on, somebody, God speak to you about somebody else. Come on, somebody, it means you're operating in an office and you're going to understand an office. 
Because even if God speaks to you and you want to tell somebody something, I could offend them if they back down and fall away. Because, hey man, somebody, because it might not be an office of a prophet. The office of a prophet, God speaks to somebody. Amen. Amen. The spirit of the prophet will speak. Tell amen somebody to the prophet and tell him exactly how to relate the message that God spoke to him about about that person. The office of an intercessor, God will speak to me about somebody, but my office is intercessory. So what I got to do? Intercede. Intercede. Don't want to tell them what God tell me. Because that is not my office. In so doing now, I will offend them when they will backslide. I got to go on my knees and pray for that person because my office is not one of a prophet but an intercessor. A what? An intercessor. Intercessor. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. But how will you understand these things if you are not feeding the spirit? So the Bible said, walk in the spirit and the shadow and do what? To fulfill the lust. Of the flesh. I won't be here last the first thing I thought about my own time is, is just between a man and a woman. And that's why that's one time. Amen. Amen. The right interpretation of the word lust in the Hebrew language is, is desire. And we can desire things that God did not put in us. Because that desire can come from the flesh. And James said in chapter 4, we pray and have not, we fast and have not, because we are praying to the lust and we are fasting to the lust or desire of the flesh. But what did Jesus, what the, the apostle Paul said, but as many as are led by the Spirit. So you got to know now the leading of the Spirit. He said the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. Let God command your morning. Let God order your steps. Let him order what part he want to win. Amen. From your job to your husband, there are people that cast their loan. They always see a man in their life. They always see a woman in their life. And they keep spinning in circles. They know the way up on God. Come on somebody. Come on somebody. Come on somebody. Why? Because they're trying to fill up the flesh. Loneliness. Emptiness. Lust. And sexual immorality. Come on somebody. Am I speaking to somebody? And they're wandering in circles. And keep polluting their lives. And they don't know the way on God. Jesus said my sheep. They know my voice. And not another. They will not follow. Come on. Amen. And Paul said, What well, come follow me as I have what? Come follow me as I have what? Come on, somebody. Give us some praise today. Give us some praise. Hallelujah. Glory. Amen. Hallelujah. The Spirit of God. Say, My body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. I got to allow the Holy Spirit. Come on, somebody. I want you to understand something now. Say the Holy Spirit carries God's word into my heart. Come on, somebody. Come on, the Bible said no one coming and that's what? The Spirit of God draw them. So it takes the Holy Ghost to carry the word of a miracle. The word of deliverance. The word of healing. The word of peace. It takes the Holy Ghost to bring the experience. That's why John said, I baptize you with water. But there's one who's greater than I am. Come on, somebody. And John stated clear, John the Baptist stated clear who he was. Come on, somebody. Come on, they asked him. They said, John, who are you? By what authority are you baptizing people by? Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. They ask him, are you Elijah? Come back. Are you the prophet Jeremiah? Who are you? Who are you? Come on, somebody. And what said, I am the voice of one crying in the wilderness. Amen, somebody. Make straight a highway to our God. Come on, somebody. For all flesh is as grass. Amen, somebody. And all their goodliness is as the flower of the field. The grass will it. The flower. What philosophy will live by? God will have 
Bye. Forever. Come on. God will ever do what? Sometimes people come and they look at the way the prophet of God might live, the pastor might live, but they have made, they have maybe have paid a price for 20 years, 25 years. They get where they are. And they did it faithfully. You might have been puffing and dropping in and out of the presence of God. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. And you want what you see. Come on, somebody. Amen, somebody. Yeah. Amen. But the question is, have you had the experience? Amen, somebody. Come on, boss. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. And then when you go to understand, and then when John the Baptist was telling me, come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. He said, who shoes? I'm unworthy to unleash. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. He said, but when he shall come upon you, when he shall come, he shall baptize you. He shall fill you. He will not pour upon you the Holy Ghost and fire. Walk this life that we are living. Amen. And we are called Christians. And we cannot live it in the flesh. Amen, somebody. We cannot conquer the enemy in the flesh. We cannot receive the blessing that comes from God in the flesh. We cannot fulfill God's purpose and plan in the flesh. Amen, somebody. The only way to experience it is in the spirit. Satan's job is to get you out of the spirit. John the divine wrote, Amen, he said, John was a light in the wilderness. Drawing many to repentance. But Jesus is that true light that light in every man that cometh into this world. He was in the world. And the world was made by him. And the world knew him not. The world could not have known him. Because the world was sitting in darkness. We were sitting in the flesh. Jesus can appear to the angel tonight. And sit among some of us. And he still wouldn't know what to see. Jesus stood that to them. When the disciples backslide, they didn't recognize him when he appeared to them. How many of you have heard that? The Bible said he appeared to them for three times and they didn't recognize him. Come on, somebody. Come on. He appeared to all of them and, and Thomas still was doubting. He had to tell Thomas, watch my hand. Take your finger and stick it in my nail pierced hand. It is me. Come on, somebody. Come on. Because when a man is in the flesh, when a woman is in the flesh, when we, when we are in a box, still in condition, it's a condition. If you have a cancer condition, you can have a diabetic condition. You can, you can have a heart condition, you can have a liver condition, a lung condition, a sinus condition. In a box, still in state, it's a condition. And it only gets worse, less untreated. Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on. You might say, well, that's why you're going on the family. Because you're just having a grandly. Come on, somebody. Why? Because COVID-19 didn't help the majority of us. Come on, somebody. The majority of us stopped praying. The majority of us stopped picking up Bible. There's only focusing. Some of us focusing on. I don't know how long I have to drop this one money I can say. Amen. And then I didn't know how many of my father's hope like in the rich. Then I spent money I could make sure I keep just in case I lost my job. Then I said, no, what time I could go? And I still walk and I still out here. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Come on. Hallelujah. Come on. Hallelujah. Am I speaking to somebody? Come on. Come on, but you cannot see the seed of Satan's soul 
in that time you were all in the presence of God. And I'm, I'm, I'm not just talking about out of the, the, the building of the church. I'm talking about your heart being out of the presence of God. So even, even oh, go up on YouTube and let me see, see what God's saying. Amen to Prophet Junior. Let me, wait, I'm a, let me show the interest. Let me see when the light's coming on. Let me, let me see what God's saying. I took time, too much work. I have to make sure I'm doing this, do that, do that, come on, come on. God become third, last, for the army that God is one God. And he said, thou shalt put nothing before him. And if three and four months passing, and you ain't feeding yourself nothing spiritual. And all you are waiting for is the case to open back. Well, that's the door, remember? We're free not to come back. So us to come back. Come on, somebody. Come on. Come on. You wouldn't even, you wouldn't even be able to tell when the Holy Spirit is here. Yeah. We can just become a religious people with no Holy Ghost. No Holy Ghost. Come on, somebody. Come on. You're, amen. Your prophet, your pastor, and the Holy Ghost. We are messengers sent by God to continue you, reminding you what God has said for us to do. Come on, somebody. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Till you fill up a hearing. Come on, somebody. It's either you hear it until you become a doer of the word, or you hear it until you, amen, you're backsliding. You can't take it no more. You know why they stone Stephen? Because they couldn't take it. When Stephen said a preacher can take it. Come on. They take up stone with conviction. Come on, somebody. And we start to stone him down. Come on. And it's there. Amen. The Apostle Paul, who was known as Saul, had his first experience. Come on, somebody. And they that were considered the church, stone him down. And Paul, who was so was a murderer at that time, killing with zeal, then with Christian in the plan, saw the light of God upon the face of Stephen. And Stephen cried out, with his head lifted up. He said, I see the Lord. Come on, somebody. I see the Lord. I see the Lord. And his hand is not stretched towards me. In the Bible said, and his face glowed like an angel. And something within Paul, when he saw that, shook him. He started to question what he was doing from there. What's about? They are believers that just even question themselves. They have so much pride that they think that they are righteous. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. In the Bible said, all of our righteousness is a spirit to God. Come on, somebody. Come on. Come on. Amen. Come on. And the Bible said that God will resist the proud. Amen. Amen. And he will give grace to the humble. He said, only when we be humble ourselves to the mighty hand of God. In due time, he will lift us up. And if God has been lifting you up yet, it means there are room to there is room for humility. Amen. What the Bible said? Humble yourself under the mighty hand of God. The mighty hand of God is the word of God. Isaiah 53, who is the portion of believers to whom is the arm of God revealed to? Humble yourself under the mighty hand of God. And in what? Due time, God. In due time. What is due time? Amen. Yes, exactly God's time. Come on. When a woman gets pregnant, she has a due date. God has a due date in your life. For you to give birth. For you to give birth to change, give birth to your blessing, give birth to your calling, give birth to your miracle. For all the years you've been sacrificing and praying and crying and been faithful to God, there is a due date. But, you know, but even somebody, 
a woman can have a miscarriage. And, and your spirit can have you can have a miscarriage. You can give up before your due date. You can come short before your due date. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Am I speaking to somebody? Am I speaking? And then the Bible said, in Jesus, Amen, somebody. Let us be. Amen. Amen, somebody. Let us not be weary in what? Well doing. And what? Well doing. Doing what is commanded of us to do. Say, so in due season again. Don't you use the term again? Due season. Due. That's God time. That's not when we want, when we tell it. In due time, this time, in that time, we will say we have faith and we remain faithful. We may joyous. We may excited. Come on, somebody. Keep walking with your praise. Keep walking with your amen. Keep walking with your joy. Keep walking with your faith. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. And keep pressing into God. Come on, somebody. Keep doing more. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Don't settle for less. Keep storing up your treasures in heaven. What the Bible said, because we're a man hearted. Yeah. Yeah. The first thing that you want to be here for tonight. I mean, many of us came. Amen, somebody. When we now get saved, we came because we had problems, we had anything we were lost. But after we have come to the knowledge of Christ, amen somebody, our oh, number one priority is not serving God, amen somebody, by reason of creation. But our number one priority must be out of love, out of concern, out of compassion, amen. A relationship with God, a bond with God, and nothing can separate you from the love of God. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on. Because Satan will test you. And God will allow Satan to test you. God is not the one temple. You say, God is not the one temple. Many of you say, why? God, why? Why me, God? God is not the one temple. The Bible said, when when we are tempted, amen, let no man think he is tempted by God. Because God is not tempted with evil. Neither do God tempt any man evil. Now do not mistake it, there's a difference between temptation and judgment. God will judge you. Come on somebody. Don't get it wrong, God will judge a nature for sin. God will judge a people for sin. Come on somebody. But when we come to temptation, God is not the one that will tempt you to sin. That's Satan's job. God is not the one who's going to tempt you to give up. That's Satan's job. God is not the one who's going to send sickness upon you to give up. That's Satan's job. So the sickness and blessing is the man who endures temptation. But when he is tried and he is found faithful, he shall receive a crown of righteousness. Come on, somebody. Am I speaking to somebody tonight? Come on, give us some praise. Give us some praise. Come on. Amen. So what the scripture said, God is this to proud. He gave grace to the humble. Come on, somebody. He said, for pride comes before a fall and a haughty spirit before destruction. You know that haughty spirit? A spirit that always lets the lash out. Come on, somebody. I spread over the little one. Yeah. How much people in your life you can talk to? Is there people in your life you can talk to? When I mean talk, I say, mean say hello. How you going? Don't put this chair here. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Move that car for me. That car back there. That car go there. You're not doing that right. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Am I, am I speaking to somebody? Come on, somebody. 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 Come on. Am I speaking to somebody? Do you know anybody like your life? Come on, let me ask you a shame. You're afraid of your husband and your wife or That is a haughty spirit. And God will keep this. And you will, and you will always be resistant to the Holy Ghost and to the things of God. 
Then you will not be able to deserve the waters of God and waters of the of God when God is speaking for God. Come on, somebody. Right now, we fall forward at our 40 40. It's always ready to get on. Snap. Come on, somebody. Like an alligator. Anything you put in, snap it. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Right, he can snap at you. Come on, somebody. Am I speaking to somebody? Come on. Come on. And if you have to grow in your spirit, you know what the blessing of God is going to come down. Come on, somebody. What I mean, come down. Come on, somebody. Humility. Humility. See, is this the problem that you get blessed enough? And then you become a father. Then you become a father when you make a prayer correctly. Come on, somebody. How are you able to pray correctly? Before you start to pray to pull down the mountain. Before you start to pray for God to get a sign from heaven. You are able to look in your heart. You are able to see your weaknesses. You are able to see your fears. You are able to see why you keep choosing the wrong man. Why you keep choosing the wrong woman. Why you always ending up with problems? Why you always lost in that job? You are able to see yourselves. Because you know you are able to look into the perfect law of God. You are able to come to a place of obedience. You are able to, you are able to, amen, you go with Jesus. You don't have to wait for a leader to correct you. Immediately when you do something, you are able to look at yourself and repent and correct yourself and shake it out all by tomorrow. Because you come on somebody. Come on, because, amen, because you are humble in spirit. You are always trying to please your heavenly father. You are not doing it because of people. You are doing it because of God. And you want to please your heavenly father. So the Holy Ghost has free course in your life and conviction flows easy. And, and you'll see bickering stuff. You see calling to the die down. Come on, you see strife to the die off. You see cooperation to the fall. You see unity to the come. You see Holy Ghost to move. Come on, you see as people enter our service. Amen, you even have to pray. Come on! Then an angel by the door just touches them. They get you. Come on! You see that demons enter the place where you are, they start to run. Come on, people that are going mad with the death. Come on, somebody. Why? Because the Holy Ghost don't have to move your attitude and your mind and your heart and your ways out there in the first. Many of us think that the Lord's simply comes because a prophet of God began to know the Bible said, Faith coming out, hearing and hearing the word of God. The reason that we get into worship, we get into prayer, we get into prayer, and we get into the word of God is that the removal of a blockage is hindering our miracle. Come on, somebody. And sometimes, why we bring in the devil? Come on, somebody. Come on. So that's what we do. I said, so why is my mother and shut up with us? We have some here and I'm already here. That's why many of us are not here and we have not stayed here. What did Jesus say? We have eyes and we see not. We have ears and we what? If we will see with our eyes, and understand with our hands and I will do it. I will what he said, I will heal them. That's God's promise to us. I will heal you. I will deliver you. Come on. And what God does got to remove the wall of sin. They got to be forgiveness of sin. They got to be repentant. The walls in our life got to be removed. And allow the Holy Ghost to have free course. And the word of God will have preeminence, reign in our lives. 
what like sending the prophet doing that? Amen, somebody, to be a spiritual leader. To amen in administrating of the anointing in your life in that area. But we are all following Christ. Jesus said, if any man must follow me, he must deny himself. He must do what? Deny himself. Deny himself. Pick up his. Amen. And when we cannot deny ourselves, we are seen as what? Selfish. The first thing, the first thing that we do is, Amen. When, amen. When we do not want to deny ourselves, we look at who is not denied, or who have, who don't have, and who making it. Come on, somebody. Amen, somebody. As an excuse not to do what we ought to do for Christ. But God isn't concerned with everybody. God is concerned with you. And he said, if any man must follow me, he must deny him. Sir, and he must do what? Pick up his cross. Amen. Have any of you pick up the cross? Come on, if you do anything for Christ, you pick up the cross. It means, and it's telling you what type of Christian you are. You better say out. You are just a gimme, gimme Christian. Come on, sir. God, give me a miracle. Give me a healing. God, open a door. Take God, that's not what the husband. Take the husband. God, heal me. Amen, somebody. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. You are only a believer who wants. You are never a believer who gives. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Anytime God calls upon you to give, you tell the girl, you want my money, my money, my money, my money, my money. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. But you instead of understand, you're asking God. And how much time will you come before the prophet and the pastor? But how much things you're asking God to do for you? And how much things you're asking the men of God to pray for about you? Come on. Am I speaking to somebody tonight? Am I speaking to somebody tonight? Yeah. I speak to see out. Come on, some of you speak to see out, you embarrass. Pray somebody, uh, amen. See ya, as the people in the world say, if somebody make you out, it's got to get me out. When you make out, you need to take it. That's what the Bible says, the Lord is going to do it before all, that they're going to be embarrassed. And they won't do it again. Come on, somebody. Come on. Amen. We are only believers who want. We are never believers who give. Come on, somebody. And the same faith that we have to receive is the same faith we have to give and to sacrifice to the kingdom of God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah! There will always be something. Come on, somebody. Come on. Before COVID-19. Come on. What believers staying at home and attending the house of God? Yes. Before COVID-19. What believers? Amen. Amen, somebody. What so, they were sacrificing? Amen, somebody. Oh, what they not sacrificing? Come on, somebody. Yes, there were many believers not sacrificing. Come on, somebody. But the, the church always, we always find something covered like you know, covered like you're going uh, to find an excuse why we're not doing something for Christ. Whether it has COVID 19 or not. Come on, somebody. But in the midst of all that, God always have a minority of people who give and people who sacrifice. Some of them you might see, you might even never even hear about them. And they come out. And they give their all. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Come on. And the Bible said, those are the people God will bless before. God will make known before. God will lift them before. You might have a bad opinion about them, but God might have a different opinion about them. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Am I speaking to somebody now? Give God some praise. Come on. I pass the man and I see all of them. I see all them grave at light up. And now how much so-called believers when the light up the grave. 
Therefore, I will send the devourer to devour your substance. He said, if you would give